It's another feather in the cap for Toshido MMA as they get set to send their third fighter into the UFC octagon. Matt Dwyer will make his debut on October 4th in Halifax as part of UFC Fight Night McDonald vs. Safadine. It's been a goal seven years in the making for the lanky welterweight who began his amateur career in 2009 and made his pro debut in 2011. It's always been, you know, one goal in mind is to get to the UFC and to finally get here now it's, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty surreal, right? It's a dream come true and, you know, I just I want to make the most out of it. The 6'4", 168-pound fighter brings a professional record of 7-1 into his UFC debut. All of those fights have been with Battlefield Fight League, where he leaves as the BFL World Welterweight Champion. Once he got to that point where he'd been like their three-time champion, I started talking to them about uh, bringing in some UFC vets uh, for him to test himself, and that's what you need to do if you want to make that next step. Coming off wins against UFC veterans Shoney Carter and Demarcus Johnson, Dwyer is confident but knows he'll have to step up his game as he prepares to take on Albert Tulanov. The Russian fighter holds a record of 13-2 with his most recent victory, a first round KO at a UFC fight night in May. Only two of Dwyer's eight professional fights have made it past the first round and although a quick stoppage isn't out of the question, it's not something he's expected. Hoping to keep it on the feet, but uh, you know, my wrestling, we work our wrestling every day, our jujitsu, you know, you gotta be good uh, everywhere, right? A real tough fight uh, where he wins is, is gonna give him tremendous experience. Um, however, as a coach, uh, you know, uh, a 10 second knockout would be awesome, <laughs> right? When you're fighting in the UFC, nobody's just going to roll over for you, right? Everybody wants to make it to the top, and uh, he's going to be bringing it. I'm going to be bringing it. Like it's, I, I got to be ready for you know a battle of attrition. With a four-fight contract, Dwyer has to do everything he can to show he has what it takes to compete following those four fights, which has meant leaving the nine-to-five work life behind to focus solely on training. It's beneficial for his preparation, but not so beneficial for his bank account. That's why the fight team is currently looking for local sponsors to help supplement his income and support his journey to the Octagon. Having local people support the local athletes is a big part of, of how these guys make it through you know, their, their camps and, and survive and feed themselves. It was uh, eight hours a day doing stucco and uh, training three hours a night. So now it's nice that I can just you know, focus uh, mainly on my MMA game and it's easier being able to just focus on strictly my, my career in MMA. For Toshido, the event on October 4th will be somewhat surreal as it features two Toshido fighters as former fight team member Rory McDonald headlines the fight card. If you were to ask me this, you know, five years ago, ten years ago, I, you know, I wouldn't believe it. You know, we got two guys that I've trained on the same card. How everything's unfolding, right? It's like it's meant to be. So it's it's a really good feeling, right? I got, I'm, I'm I've got a really positive mindset going into this fight, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. For more information on sponsorship opportunities with Dwyer, contact Ashido MMA. Reporting for Go Okanagan on Shaw TV. I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.